that. Have you ever had something like that before? Well, I've not. Uh -huh. um, but if that is true, I don't think uh, is enough. Mm. I think Yoruba Igbo also, mm -hmm. if that is what we want, a unified country, those three major languages must be made compulsory to study. And you see, even from uh, um, from the primary all the way to secondary, you must be made compulsory. You, you know must why? study. A child does not understand English or cannot speak English very well. Now, you then use the same English to teach that child every other subject. Mm -hmm. The maths, the science, the physics and all that. Mm -hmm. Now, a child that does not... but. If the child speaks Yoruba, mm -hmm. speaks Igbo, speaks mm -hmm. Hausa, and he understands those things very well, mm -hmm. and you teach that child in those languages... Don't get it faster. So, when you compare, then they compare our uh, children with, uh, I mean, uh, the people in the UK, and, and you telling me they are smarter? No. We are smarter. Yeah. I've seen children on the road, on the streets. They speak Yoruba, and I mean... You, you need to check their intelligence. So don't tell me that our people are not. They are just that what has reduced the potential or what has made them the way they are is that barrier, that language barrier. barrier. So now, if they are saying, okay, Yoruba, you mm, shouldn't be limited to that. You should be Yoruba, Igbo, Awusa. I know some people are waiting to say, eh, so what happened to Bibio? What happened to uh, no, uh, We are talking to what happened to. So, don't forget that the Yoruba we are talking about, there is the Jabus, mm -hmm. there is the Undus, there is the uh, Ijeshas, mm -hmm. and all that. So, we have all those things cut across. Mm -hmm. But we must have a balance to say, okay, this one, mm -hmm. you understand. That mm -hmm. one, you understand. Mm -hmm. That one, you So, when you pass, then you, when you come, even they can, you can have a lecturer. So that we 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 divide ourselves from this colonialism and all this bondage mentality. of mentality of English After grammar all, you and not study in China without learning so to speak their language. Why? And seriously, you I mean, languages practically are dead in those institutions, Very true. which we need to bring back to life. If we really have to be a country that is dependent on itself. A country that nobody will come and just bamboos you with whatever. And we should have that. We should decide what we want. Mm -hmm. It is a welcome development for me. But exactly. I'm saying it should not be limited to, to just Yoruba. Yoruba. Let's make it major three languages. The Yoruba, the Igbo, the Aosa. You must pass it. I think it was just... Um it was it wasn't even true because by the time i did my findings and you know got to find out about it then i was told that um that wasn't true it's not an admission requirement it's where not illegal, no. <laughs> no, no, it's not, not an admission requirement and all that but where my mentees got that idea from i really cannot say because it sounds really far-fetched like yoruba mm -hmm. as in of all languages but I totally agree with reason, you. The reason why they won't, why, uh, you know, I said I didn't hear anything like that. Yes. And why I, I don't think that is true. Um, uh, university of Lagos <laughs> it, it is a first class university. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we are not just first among equals. Mm -hmm. We are first. We have no equal. Ah. Yes, that ah. is that Seriously? is what we have. Yes, so ah. we can ah. say so ah. low. Ah. Even if we have to uh, pick, uh, it has to be the three. Uh, yeah, do three, you want us to fight? The three. We are not fighting. I'm only telling you who we are. Oh, really? So there's not, so, I can't help it. Oh, there's what anybody can do about <laughs> it. Sorry, no, I'm sorry. Sorry, I don't know. I, let I, us I, come on one this no, 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 Sorry, I, before you people start hearing, you know, there will be fights on this table this morning, you know. 
So me saying. We didn't go to private university. So me saying. This hey, is not. Mommy. This is, is because not. they did not turn the name of your so school. Say, should I be so like me, you can say that I cannot <laughs> everyone. So, so me saying. This is not uh, a figment uh, of imagination. It is. This a, is it's a figment mm, of you people's this, imagination. This is a, not just a fact. Mm. But you, you don't understand. We do. Why we got We are no equals. Really? We stand out. <laughs> <laughs> the others can be fighting for equality. Well. Okay, I'm better than oh, you. And, you know, oh no, 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 no. God. We don't do. I'm oh better than you. you the know? interesting part. So when we go to different places, yeah. I remember when we went to law school. You know, there's no even competitions and all that. When oh, you know, like everybody, they mm-hmm. always have issues with us. And we look at them and we laugh. Yeah, we have issues say, with you. Yeah, and we say to them sense. like, we are not here. No competition here. <laughs> we Please, do. yes, just that they have said that whole oh, university okay, let us come together. No competitions here. We know our place. So we don't struggle. That is why you don't see any Unilag go out there and start. Mm. They are the ones fighting you. We mm. don't fight them. Oh, because really? we have a place. Okay. We don't struggle with our place. So, we, um, don't, we, don't, we, don't, we don't argue. When you are coming next week, eh? yes. come with your boots. <laughs> And come with your boxing gloves because I'm going to bring an OU graduate on this thing. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to bring an OU graduate. I think I'll just bring a UNI, a, a, a UI graduate. So, so look, look, there'll look. be a UI, okay. OAU, yeah. and UNI. Let, Let us and come the, you, know the, you know what will then happen? Uh-huh. All of us will be here. Mm-hmm. It will then be the fight between OAU and you are, no, no, no. you are. No, hold on, hold on. It's no older. It will be a fight. It, no, no, you cannot fight me because I will not be involved in that. I will descend so low to be involved in the fight with other. I mean, I said we stand out. We are not. We are not among one of the equals. That's the problem. We are one. We are. I'm calling sick man. That's the problem. At the end of the day, the results will tell us. Is that about results? Let us look at the papers. You the people that want to be equal are first. We we know that our results speak for us mm. as the of the greatest bobo. You don't yeah, get. Yeah. Let's look at the nation of this paper this morning. That's where I want to begin from. And we're talking politics. Grind that bush. Yeah, sorry. Go on. Well, the bush. <laughs> go on, go on. Let's talk about it. Like that we have a village in my school. We produce enough food for the whole of you and you are the whole of you. Are you kidding me right now? Please, please. Let's. Do. If people don't have land, you don't have good yeah. What do you have? Everything. Don't let us go. Don't let us go down. Everything. Don't do that with this money. Everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. They say we are in the bush. Oh, are you? Ah, oh, you graduate in the outside Bamile. Are we just in the bush? We are the definition of what a university is meant to look like. Mm. Oh my. Mm. Anyway, the national newspaper where we begin from today, APC committee to release convention guidelines today. Bunny briefs president on date, party to decide mode of primary. Um. The chairman of the the Katika chairman of uh, the Katika or the what was that thing called Katika Extraordinary Convention uh, Convention Planning Committee CECPC has finally come out and they're set to release their guidelines today. It's the banner headline of the nation newspaper. Let's quickly take a look at some other stories before we look at it. Uh, witnesses relieve uh, relieve siege to Justice Odile's home. Three suspects granted bail. We lost fifty eight people, not two hundred. To bandits attack says governor uh, inflation rate rises from 15.4 percent to 15.63 uh, percent still looking at some stories there kind of faces eight new terror charges as trial uh, resumes All right uh, more stories there All right we have uh, override buhari's veto on electoral bill pdp governors urge the lawmakers overriding president mamadou buhari's veto or uh, is the fastest way to push through uh, the document pdp governors suggested yesterday wiki's uh, presidential posters flood abuja 10 billion naira for Igbo presidential project who is given the 10 billion naira that's an important message now why tinubu deserves apc presidential ticket by shetima and that's uh, also front page story of the punch of the nation pardon me uh, newspaper this today that's 2023 let's talk about the apc convention and uh, i like the way that that title you know is written it was the caretaker chairman of the caretaker extraordinary convention planning committee cecpc from the set date from the very day that this committee was put together and uh, may malaboni was uh, chosen let me use that word chosen by president mamadou buhari to lead this committee the mandate was clear it was all about the convention and that's why the convention is there but however 
have they done it two years down the line what are we still look and the, the guidelines are said to to be released today but they've come this far Yet some people are saying they're not meant to be the co committee to, um, you know, put together the convention. They're not empowered to do so by the law and all that. What do you think? Well, <clears throat> I want to believe that um, for the party to come together now and probably jettison all the uh, rifts and um, issues and um, agree to say, okay, because some, there are some quarters that are saying that the convention will not even go ahead um, in February until mm -hmm. um, um, Buni, I mean, leaves the office and all that. And different quarters with different issues um, on that. But thankfully, we have the team now. We have, I mean, the party has said, okay, fine, we'll go ahead with our convention. Okay, let's have the guidelines. Mm -hmm. So do the job that you were ordinarily, originally appointed to do. Because when the committee was formed, when it was not supposed to just be the chairman of the caretaker committee, was supposed to, to was supposed to say to the convention but at the at that point don't forget okay there was no longer a chairman and there has not been any convention to elect a substantive chairman so they had to make the head of this um this group this committee to be the acting chairman of the party mm -hmm. reason why some people <laughs> had issues saying oh i know it cannot be this, it can, you know, interpret the constitution back and forth and we've been going on and on and on about that. Rubbles in the party, people are of different opinions. Mm -hmm. Even the, 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 the legal luminaries, they came up to say, no, we cannot go this route. Oh, mm -hmm. yes, we go that route and, you know, back and forth. But if they are coming together now to say, okay, let's go ahead, because from this, as in yesterday, they were able to, uh, um, reach a conclusion to say, okay, this is the way the route we want to go. Let us have our convention. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a welcome development for them, and I believe that uh, before this, they had done uh, the necessary, uh, um, how do I call it now? Uh, uh, they have put up the necessary uh, um, measures. measures. Thank you. <laughs> necessary to measures to make sure that all factions that have issues all factions that are fighting are back hmm. because you do not want a situation where this starts and you get another faction springing up to say no convention cannot hold no this must happen that must happen i want to believe that before yesterday's meeting all this you know were put together and yeah. all this were done yeah so i want to believe they have done their own work well and we're waiting in a bit to prepare for this and to make sure it works. For the convention to make thank you to make sure that it works hmm. okay. all right uh, well, one extra story that i would like us to pay a bit of attention to is the fact that uh, governor Bilo matawali had this conversation on television yesterday and he was saying that uh, they lost only 58 people to bandits and not 200. Um, I like to quote, quote him properly before uh, you take a look at that and uh, react to it. Um, the Nigeria Niger Republic land borders may be shut down soon by the federal government, um, especially in Zamfara State. The Zamfara Belo Matawale governor uh, disclosed that uh, disclosed this amid reports two soldiers and a policeman were among 16 persons killed by bandits in Kebi, Matawali will disclose that he had been instructed and uh, directed by President Mahmoud Bari to visit the Niger Republic to discuss the issue. Also said 58 persons were killed last week in the state and not over 200 as reported by a section of the media. However, lamented, lamented, lamented. Now, my, my, my first issue is 258. Who is taking the tally? Do we have the data to say that? Um, now they want to shut the border. I thought that was an issue that we should have resolved a long time ago mm. when this banditry became a big problem and it was said that they were hiding in the bushes mm. between there and here. Why wait till now? 
And now it is not a matter of we're issuing a directive to shut down the borders. It's a matter of go and discuss. So between the time you're discussing, you have already given the bandits themselves the knowledge, the foreknowledge to say they want to shut us down. It's either they go there or the kukuma come here. In the process of your discussion, they have gone further into our bushes. Mm. Why does? Why do you think our government runs this way? Um, it matters that should have where they should take decisive action it looks as if they are taking uh, this slow pedal let's just see more and yet we're talking about 58 people of which we're not particularly sure of the number but the governor said 58 people were killed just last week well some of, us, Kebi, yeah, just some, yesterday. Of, some of us have, we've said that over time that uh we we have porous borders and now when i say we have porous borders we are even talking about the key borders, mm -hmm. major borders that mm -hmm. okay, that that that, that they have their people in place. Mm -hmm. There are number of borders, number of borders. Something, some things we can't say on here. The number of borders that are scattered everywhere in this country, and these same people coming through those places. We have seen where they've stopped uh, um, these people riding bicycle. I mean, with ammunition. That so, all these things happen. What step did our government hmm. take? What step did they put in place <laughs> to checkmate all those things, to make sure that this thing? But we don't see anything like that. So it has given rooms for because some of us have said this severally also that most of these bandits are not Nigerians. Hmm. Most of these people are from neighboring countries. And also the other time, uh, Mr. President, allow um, uh, um, when you come in, uh, that means visa, you know, upon entry mm -hmm. to all those people. So they allow them free access to come into the country to come into the country mm -hmm. and this will capitalize on this and i mean they come in to perpetrate evil and also now that is about that unfortunately the government or the people in authority have not done enough to cop this so is a is is a vacuum that has opened so much that i don't know if we're going to get it right Hmm. because some things have, have been left unattended to for a long time hmm. now that is about that about the numbers that we are talking hmm. about the bbc <laughs> carried over 200 yeah. the german um, that's the german news whatever carried over 200 we have some of these international news um, um whatever carrying those over. numbers I am not holding briefs for them because the truth is they also may not be accurate with their numbers. The same way, our government Matalau may not uh, Matalau may not also be accurate with its fifty-eight because, like you ask, where are the data? How did we know? Because there are people that said they were on ground yeah. from those BBC interview and all that that they told us there were scores. Of the people mm -hmm. so now if you're saying 58 i have i have an issue i i wasn't there yeah so, but i have That's an issue said, did, did yeah. you do a net count of the dead bodies i, I haven't are I, you sure that that was all you you remember what till now uh people still mm -hmm. there's still different uh, divergence of uh, um, opinion reports. or whatever report on answers i'm not going there i wasn't just in 2001 and when the massacre happened in just we were on ground by the time we were watching tv and they were giving numbers we of people NT. yes we're watching nt <laughs> thank you Please. and they were I giving us to clarify yes we're watching nt and they were giving us numbers we were crying because you saw what happened because we saw what happened mm. the numbers nt was giving us that year was far 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 below what what happened in just 
Only because some of us will be alive today. Don't you look at management of information, the more the numbers, the more scared people are meant to be, uh, are going to be. So uh, maybe the, the government has a way of managing this information so that people get be, uh, maybe extra comfort. You are not far from the truth. And that is what the government, that is what they do most of the time. Okay. That is what they, they need to manage also. In as the much as I want to manage the information, but be don't be economically i mean uh truthful because yes even when you're saying yeah you don't want mm. people to be scared you don't want people to go gaga you don't want the news to go out the whole world that yes over 200 people died so what were they doing and all that so mm. you have to read somebody died yeah even if it's just one or two mm -hmm. somebody alive is involved so even when we want to manage we should avoid situation where one person will be lost to this menace and not waiting to give us reports okay yeah oh how many are they 200 no we can't mention 200 or maybe we we'll just say 50. Hmm. we don't want that as much as nigerians i don't really think nigerians are really that uh, you know ready to hear the, the number of people that died the truth is that the issues of insecurity has become something at our back door um just a couple of days ago I had a conversation with the commissioner of police in ocean state i had to travel and this involved me having to talk to because i was on the road and i was basically very scared imagine that you're on the road you're traveling and people you're going to meet are calling to say um they said they were shooting in Ibadan. have you guys gone past the battle you know um it, it was quite it was quite um, a scary situation for me when we left and uh, you know you need to start calling every other person to say uh, did this happen to you did this happen to you when i saw the post again i did the responsible thing i forwarded it to all of the police people on my on my phone from uh, the pro of lagos pro of your pro of Ugu, pro of Osho, you know to the commissioners of police that i had their personal number i sent it to them one responded the commissioner of police in national state on the idea he responded and he said he believes the commissioner of police in oyo and Ogu are collaborating on that issue that's very simple ijabu shara just yesterday again upon returning there was another shootout now these people are always in camouflage i don't want to call it military camouflage mm, they're, they're right. always in camouflage so but when they have conversations with the people who supposedly had contacts with them, they see that they are not military personnel because they're shooting at people, mm -hmm. passing us on the main road. Military will not shoot at people. The military will not shoot at people. So tells you that this is something else. Yet we're sitting and we're talking politics when the so-called insecurity that we thought was it was but like we you know in our minds like is in the not to is not in the south has come to our doorpost mm. we're sitting down here and i'm finding it difficult to understand the back and forth with our governors talking politics at the time because i've not heard any of the governors or your state or your state or your state, you know i've not heard any of them you know jittery and saying hello something is yes i know that last week they did say that amotekun was going to collaborate across the southwest states to comb the bushes and come out but our techno does not have the superior firepower that those guys have mm -hmm. where is this fight going if we don't get to a point where the pdp governors are talking about if we don't get to a point where state police and review what they called for is review of the security architecture if we don't get to a point where that review of the security architecture is gone is done where do you think we'll head to huh. well um for me it's sad um, that I have to go this route again. We talked about this severally on how we put priorities. I, I mean, the way major priorities mm -hmm. in this part of the world. All these politicians is about me, myself, and I. Mm -hmm. These politicians, when it comes to governance, you can, I mean, I, I bet you, uh, <laughs> you can count one or two out of. Um, out of how many of them that we have so if a situation like this is happening in a particular zone and 
Because what I what I was hearing, like some people talked about the Ibadan one. I said I have not seen. They said no military people. I said mm -mm, that mm -mm, can't be mm -mm, military mm -mm, people. Mm -mm. You see, a lot of say, them wear camouflage in camouflage. In camouflage. So and not they have to do that people. to these guys. And that's why they are so called unknown gunmen. God bless so you're confused. So, so when you see them, you even find it comfortable. You find yourself comfortable around mm -hmm. them. You possibly feel that they're military Very until well. they open fire. Mm -hmm. So don't let us just conclude. Uh, people so when you see people in camouflage don't just conclude that's the reason why sometimes when i'm in some i find myself some places and uh, maybe uh, men of the uh, police um fall when they stop me i try to check very well to, hmm. okay are you truly you know did police you, uh, police officer did i tell you i had an encounter right here in alausa okay just behind the governor's office very funny jt park is which one is jt park now one this one the one we pay for mm -hmm. and then yeah. you have the canoe mm -hmm. so now imagine that we had this road i think it's called mobile johnson right yeah coming from seven up seven up mm. hitting ministry of lands okay okay so i was on that road i drove out of grand square mm -hmm. the supermarket mm -hmm. and i came out and upon getting to jt park or, or upon approaching the i think i was of cousins and then this bike i had boo at the back okay. now there was traffic it wasn't as if we were running we were practically crawling yeah so there was absolutely no reason for anybody to run into me mm -hmm. but then i looked into my mirror and then i saw that this bike man ran into me mm -hmm. i ignored it and i kept driving but then i saw that the way the guy came down came to my side sat down on the floor was holding his leg blah 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 and then the brother bike man came to me and said eh, eh, see eh, he, he's bleeding eh, he's on. and i'm like okay i dropped my phones i switched off the engine put the car in park switch off the engine came out of the car and locked my car and i picked up my key and i said how did you get injured and it was like hey madam you were not driving straight and i'm like we're in traffic there's no way I won't be driving straight. You are the one wiggling in the middle of vehicles. I'm very good at that. Mm. I'm driving straight. We're in traffic. Then he said, ah, no, this one. Hey. Then the police man, this was a bike man, plain clothes. Another guy, plain clothes. Police. Police uniform. And then he said, this man, hey, mama, madam, please, 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 nobody's to, nobody's to blame. Please save my life, save my life, save my life. And his leg was bleeding, according to him. And I said, let me see. How exactly did your leg begin to bleed? Mm -hmm. Show me the wound. Mm -hmm. Then he was pressing one part of his uh, leg just below the knee. Mm -hmm. And was saying, blood, blood, blood. And Where the blood, blood kept coming out. No, okay, there was, blood, was coming blood was coming out. And then his uniform was torn around the knee area. Uh -uh. And I said, show me the wound. Let me see how deep the wound is. Mm -hmm. At the point, he just kept saying, oh, Madam, save my life. Come and take me to that Ojota, eh, mm -mm. that, that eh, emergency unit at Ojota. Eh, just save my Ah, This bleeding is too much. Eh. I looked into his face and I said, what unit are you from? Which police station are you from? I, because we're close to, we're behind the governor's office. This is our arrest. Yeah, that is a police officer. It was just in police uniform. Blue, okay, okay. light blue and black. Okay, okay. And I said, Allow us a police station is there. Should I take you to your police station? Mm -hmm. Let the bike drive after me. Mm -hmm. Take you to your police station. Oh. And then we attend. Are you he said, eh, no, police station cannot help me. I said, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. are you saying your police station does not have a first aid unit mm -hmm. that can quickly attend to you right now before they transfer you to your mm -hmm. hospital? For adventure, you actually had an injury. He said, hey, save life first. What this argument? I said, I argue with you. Okay, please, you, you are the one telling me you ran into my car. Come and show me what pierced his body. body. Mm -hmm. And then I got there. They broke my mirror. They actually broke my rear light. Oh. So I picked up the, the light and I said, okay, if this store is uniform, I'm supposed to see the, the mark of a cloth, mm -hmm. you know, around it and blood. Okay. I picked up my rear lights, uh, the broken part. And I took it. And I took it into the car. And I said, okay, you know what? Look at my mirror very well. Look at my car. You see my sticker? I'm a journalist and the neighbor of Alausa police station. Mm. We are neighbors. You know what you're going to do? You're going to drive after. Ah, no. I just want to go to emergency unit. I said, don't worry. It's emergency unit you need. Don't worry. I'm going to call them in the office. I went back to my car, picked up my phone. I'm going to call them in the office. They'll bring you a car. 
take you to that emergency unit. Mm. Then we will bring you back to a Lausa police station yeah. so that you can show us who your boss is and which unit Very well. you are from. Immediately, Ele Yoti and understand we're talking about saving life. Wow. She's talking about going to uh, wow. a police station, going to emergency, and they jump. What, what gave me law? What gave me law? See your your time. Then they climbed wow. the bike. I entered my car, mm. started my car, locked my car. My, this was afternoon, 2 p.m. in the afternoon, <laughs> and I drove. And yes. I saw them, you know, we're still in traffic. Yeah, they drove before I knew what was happening. One of them had dropped. And then the police uniform guy mm -hmm. and the rider of the bike before i knew what was happening they had turned and they were on the other side going back to the ojota on the same mobile IG johnson now they were on the other side because God this is be, allowed those people have to, to be me. kidnappers they could, you see <laughs> we just have, have to be, be careful. careful the only thing i noticed was on his uniform there was no name Oops. there was no number and there's no i would have uh, if i won't even talk to him then so yeah, it was, at the, point, like no, no, it was at the point where he was trying to stand up mm. that I looked closely mm. and I said, Oh, hello, my Jackie in Ria Mulini. Because mm. it was, I wanted to follow him. I was praying the traffic would be free so I could follow him to that junction. You know, there are policemen at that junction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Closely. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to follow him there and call their attention and say, That's a fake police guy. Mm. So that they could nap him. But they were on a bike, we were in traffic. That was how he escaped. Mm. And this is in Alausa Ikeja. There. behind the governor's office hmm. very well in the afternoon this was not at night it was not early in the morning this was in the afternoon we just have to be we just have to be careful so i tell people when you see those people don't just assume they are soldiers or assume that they are policemen True. just do your due diligence True. because you can never tell God, we know what is happening the security is you know we know the situation <laughs> of security in the company uh, country so we just have to be careful now back to our governors and the uh, um, i mean the issue of securities and all that some of these guys is about the power they just want to be governors mm -hmm. they just want to be president now the responsibility that comes with those things because i it is this part of the world that things like this happen and nobody is saying anything okay as at the time they were telling us about the 200 mm -hmm people that died no communicate i come from any government office until our drs governor middle batawale no. had a conversation when? after, from, this, after how many body. days so it's sad it's yeah. sad that we we go through this every time is it about Bruni that maybe practically uh, I mean, uh, maybe this year, maybe has only visited uh, uh, Yobe once. There's, there's that he practically live in Abuja. There's Zoom. And that is governor. There's Zoom. That's supposed to be governing a state. And you practically live in Abuja. His deputy governor is a handsome deputy I mean, governor. It, it's, it's, it's okay, tell me job. what he will tell you knows about the state. He lives there. from there. He doesn't live there. He lives in Abuja. That's what I'm telling you. Really? Bruni? Okay, do your findings. That okay. is the chairman of uh, the APC, whatever committee we are talking about. So you're about. saying that so the assignment... Is in, so you think the assignment... And he's a governor. ...keeps him so busy that he, he cannot even administer. Oh! So, and that is what we... Uh, there was a... Uh, I, I, heard of see, so I, much I, 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 I try not to mention names. In these same countries, there are governors that we know where they live. We know where they live. That was when Fashola came. You remember even in Lagos, those local government uh, people, mm -hmm. you say you are the chairman of local government in Nigeria. You... Meanwhile, you are living in Lekki. And Fashola said, all of you, go and live in your, go and live in your constituency. And then they start running to build houses. I mean, we are, and even some of them, they just build and they are not still living there. I know one governor is living in his state, yeah. Governor yes, on wiki. Every time he's always hosting people in the state. He lives there. <laughs> ah, please. Uh, the Guardian newspaper will quickly want to touch this one. Override Buhari's veto or delete direct primary PDP governors tell National Assembly and SSF that's the Nigeria Solidarity Support Fund leads campaign against vaccine uh, hesitancy with 1.6 million jobs in three months. Uh, PGFDG resigns over APC convention. Governors reaffirm February date. 
Federal government amends cannot charge to 15 counts. Hard choices for monetary authority as inflation rises. Hubani sues federal government. Others over forced vaccination of civil servants. Oaneze Mdibu woos north to support bid for 2023 presidency. Jupiter Investments engages the Guardian to promote high end real estate in Lagos. The punch. Newspaper quickly. APC National uh, National Convention. ABC Governors propose February 26. Musa Al Makura lead in party chairs race. February still realistic. Caretaker panel will announce exact date, says Forum. Party looking towards the defunct uh, CPC members to occupy chairmanship seat. And you have the pictures of the different governors on the front page of the Punch newspaper this morning. Prison attackers mustn't live to tell the story that's coming from the man in charge. Ah, uh, Benny. Now, oof, Eric Bashola tells NCOS officials. Um, what do you think of the statement of when you were over Eric Bashola last week when he was in official state talking about the faction or the group is that it belongs to? And uh, th there are headlines going out in the media saying he has set official state APC on fire with that statement. Do you think so? Well, um, we just have to be careful with some of the unguided uh, utterances that comes from us, particularly when it has to do with um, uh, when we, we are holding an office in the country. We have, uh, I mean, the way any other person will speak, I don't expect a minister, I don't expect a governor, I don't mm. expect a president. I don't expect leaders, let me put it that way, not just, I mean, don't, don't, don't let me restrict it to those people. I don't expect leaders to just speak just because they can speak and we get that a lot from this part of the world so with uh arab Gosola and the ocean i'm going to leave them because uh i don't know when uh, the uh, the soup went so you know these are uh, uh allies these are friends these are family members mm. i mean and uh, where how it went so i, I do not know okay. i remember is a minister he will yes he was former governor now we have a governor mm -hmm. in ocean state mm -hmm. let him do his job we have the party there yes in as much as you're a minister yes you're still a party member and probably in that particular state, you in are ocean a state? yes in ocean mm. but you are a leader because i also hear that um He's also in Lagos. <laughs> he can, he can. Okay, maybe he was in Lagos. Okay, but he's now a leader in Ocean State. He, because he's, he's a former. He, he came in. He came in. I'm sure the the zo, the um the uh, what, what do they call it? Not your political zone now. The um the catchment. Mm. I'm sure was uh, he didn't use Lagos. Mm. The catchment came from Ocean as a minister. As a minister. So mm. um he, meaning that he's still a leader. In, in that, state you know, politics. if uh, you governor, a former governor, he, he's a leader mm. in well, APC he's still leading, Ocean. He's still leading in APC. No, in no, no that's Lagos. the reason why in Lagos, don't forget, at some point, mm. all factions in Lagos were dissolved. Were dissolved. Mm. Just to, I mean, uh, I mean, work on that. And so that's do the reason we need why to wait for now. the time when all factions will be dissolved to in Ocean State? Or, well, because I don't get what it is about politicians, especially the ones that we look up to, and how they come up with all of these different you factions. See, and you see, this will happen, I'm and it will continue. This will happen, that. and it will continue to happen in our politics. And why? When a governor becomes uh, um, uh, um, the leader of the party mm. don't forgetting that before he became the government it was the party that presented him as a governor mm -hmm. immediately he becomes the governor the same thing applies even at the federal level immediately he becomes the president mm -hmm. he becomes number one which is not supposed to be so number one of a political party should be the chairman mm of that political party in that state in that state and that's why they have state chairman very across, well across, across yes and the federal too the chairman of the federal should be so but when so the president in normal normalcy mm. what you're saying is the president should be subject to the national party. very well so as me malabuni is right mm. now um occupying that position the, the, the president pre should be under him. Mm -mm. the president should not have involved to Impose I him in the first place. Sorry, I'm I using the word impose. Oh, impose. Yes, okay. Bunny. It mm -hmm. should not have been because the party should have come together to solve their problems. With no, no, without fear 
or favor or trembling to God president. Because that is what you say. No one wants to offend Mr. President. No one wants to do anything that will make Mr. President question. And it's because of where we, I mean, the structure, the way we have, I mean, place ourselves. In, 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 that's what we have told our political parties. I always use this example of South Africa. You remember uh, President uh, Zuma, Zuma resigned and his because people. Just because his the party said, he he should. Should. even when the nation, their parliament were saying he should resign, he did not resign. He didn't. Until when the party, so he was not the chairman of the party. The party were not scared of him. Hmm. They could look into his eyes to say, Mr. President, you have to. Hmm. So, but we don't have that here. Hmm. Once you become the governor, once you become the president, then you are God. In that so party. nobody can speak. In that the next, yeah, in that party, because the next thing uh, he is afraid of EFCC, he is afraid of ICPC, and the he is afraid of political parties in Nigeria. That is what we are saying. Is all, all everywhere? All the political parties. All. This is not an APC thing. Oh, it's not an APC. It is Nigerian thing. It is Nigerian system. It's not about APC, PDP, 